What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We're on the M1000 RR, and I've been getting a ton of questions about my M1000, the issues I've had with the M1000, and if I've had to get my motor replaced. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video, because I've had my bike now for two years. I've had a lot of issues with it, mainly dealing with the motor. And that's really it, is really just dealing with the motor. Other than that, the bike's been a solid freaking bike. So, let's get out and ride this thing, and uh, we'll talk about it. As of right now, I've got it in full race mode, got my winglets removed, my mirrors removed. I do have straps on it, but I, I removed it for this ride today, because I don't need the straps flopping around down there for this video. So, went ahead and removed them, but the brackets are still on. But yeah, I've been getting a ton of questions on the M1000. A lot of people are starting to hit me up a lot more about it. And surprisingly, people are still having issues with these things. And I'm surprised I haven't found out sooner about them. I don't know if they're just now buying them or what. It's just with these models that I'm getting questions about. It's not about the 23s. I've gotten zero questions about the 23s. So this just pertains to the 21 and 22 models that I have gotten questions about. I've had zero questions about the 23s because they're solid bikes, apparently. At least that's what I'm being told is 23s are solid bikes. So that's good. So if you're looking at 23, definitely go ahead and do it. If you're thinking about looking at a 21 to 22, stay tuned for this video. I promise you, you will want to hear everything I have to say about this bike. And if I think it was worth it to me, or if I just wasted $40,000, because this bike holds no value for resale anymore, so it's pointless for me to sell it. But, got a video talking about that coming up next also, so stay tuned for that video. But issues I've had on this bike is literally the motor. I've not had any other issues out of this bike. It's been a phenomenal bike. I absolutely love the bike. It handles amazing. Like, I've not done this in so long. This is why I bought this thing. It is perfect for this kind of stuff. Track use, you're going to be, you know, draining the oil all the time. You're never going to see the oil being consumed, right? So who cares? But for practical use for what we ride you know and what we do here on the channel it's terrible I've, uh, i'm gonna go ahead and say it i've already had my motor replaced and i'm pretty sure it's still consuming oil i've not raced this bike i've not beat on this bike i broke it in properly and yes i have my fun on it yes i do some pools and stuff on it here and there but nothing like racing like the s1000 i abuse the dog crap out of that s1000 and then it doesn't skip a beat it doesn't drink oil it doesn't lose a drop of oil out of that thing it is solid the s1000 is a solid platform the 21 and 22 m1000s they just drink the oil like crazy they get so much blow by in the piston rings because there's only two instead of three piston rings like there should be and they didn't build it very well but i heard they fixed it in the 23 miles so if you're thinking that you're going to go get a motor and you're going to be fixed 100 percent guaranteed i hate to say it but that's not always going to be the case i thought with me getting my motor so late because i just got this motor a few months ago i was like yes i'm you know getting my motor like a year and a half later after the bike came out actually yeah about a year and a half after the bike actually got released i was like hoping that i was going to get you know a new motor they were going to fix the issues and i'm not seeing it I'm, i've only put a couple thousand miles on the brand new motor haven't even dogged the crap out of it and it's still drinking oil i just had to put 
a bunch of freaking oil in it because it was low in the sight glass again. So I could hate to see what it's going to be like whenever I start racing this thing because as you can see, I got the bike race ready. I got a meet here soon. It's full on oil, so after that meet, we're going to see what the oil is like and how bad it is. But I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, do I want to sell it? I don't know. But I really want to keep the bike because I love having it on the channel. I love traveling with this bike, especially with the van coming. For my needs and stuff, I love the bike. I love showing it off. I love it's an attention getter. It's sitting there. So many people come up, talk to me, want to know about the bike, you know, want to hear the bike. And it sounds so much different than the S1000. It really does. It rides so much different than the S1000 as well. But did I waste forty thousand dollars plus like <laughs> thirteen grand in upgrades? Because I've done a lot of upgrades to this thing. Did I waste all that money? Should I sell it, take a loss, and buy a 2024 20, technically? Because I would buy a 24. I don't know. That video is coming up. We'll talk about more on that. And if I think it's worth selling or what bike I'm going to get next. If I do, we'll talk about that in a different video. But yeah, I would steer clear unless you're wanting it just for a show bike. Or if you're going to buy it just for the track and track only, you know, if you're going to get it for like the show bike and track only stuff, definitely get it. Definitely get the bike, it's, you know, it's good, it's whatever. And just know that you're going to have oil consumption issues with the M1000 and the 21 and 22 model. Now, if you want a good, reliable bike that you can just dog the crap out of, race it, abuse the crap out of it and it's not going to skip a beat definitely go with the s1000 whether it's a 2020 to you know 2023 2024 model it doesn't matter the s1000 is a solid platform i've not heard really any bad things about them other than like you get your normal sensors you get your normal sensors that go bad or random codes that pop up uh the cam chain tensioner that need it replaced under warranty i mean there's just there's a couple things that you know warranty will cover and that's no issue you as at least under my experience i've had zero issues i've literally dropped my bike off on you know a saturday and came and picked it up the next saturday and i had everything taken care of under warranty didn't cost me a dime so you know that's not an issue with the couple small warranty stuff at least that I've had experience with with even the S1000 it's two, one or two things that's uh, been done under warranty for the S1000 that has literally not caused me any issues, no headaches whatsoever but the M on the other hand it has been gone so I've owned it this December will be two years I believe yeah two years since I've owned it three years two years two years in december that i've owned this bike and it's been gone out of my possession for like a year of that or longer like 13 14 months that's been going back and forth to the dealer for stuff but the longest point okay since we started the actual initial like hey we're going to bmw we're going to get a motor it took like six months because i got that question the other day how long is it going to take to get a motor uh, I'm not the only one. I know multiple people that has had this done and it's about a six month process to do all the testing BMW wants you to do. You know, the dealer has to do the work and they have to get it off the BMW. BMW has to do their stuff on their end and then it's back to more testing and it's just back and forth, back and forth. And then with the time zones, that's another thing, you know, it's time zones are way different it's like a eight hour difference or something depending on where you live probably more from here in germany so it is a lot of back and forth and a lot of time wasted so i am super frustrated with that and with the time being gone for me i never got paid for it i never got anything you know from bmw saying they're sorry so that really really sucks 
uh, especially since I've had to pay for the bike the entire time. That really sucks that I've had to pay for it out of pocket. And I never even had the bike for half the time I've owned it. And that's terrible. So, I wish BMW would have made good on that. But other than that, you know, I love BMW. I love the brand. I love how their warranty works. I've had so many things on just my M alone for warranty stuff. And they've taken care of all of it. Not a single penny out of my pocket for it other than me making the monthly payments. But as far as warranty goes, they always take care of every little issue I've had with this bike. Even stuff that I was told that was not going to be covered under warranty. BMW has taken care of that for me. So it's kind of like, you know, yes, it sucks that I didn't get paid for the bike being gone for so long, but BMW is taking care of me with every issue I've had with this bike and has made it right as far as getting me, you know, new parts for it. You know, got the new motor, my forks were leaking, I got newer fork seals, everything's been covered under warranty. So that I'm super, super happy about. Thank you so much for that. But is it worth the headache to you guys? That is the decision you have to make. And of course, you can hit me up on Instagram as of many, many people do. This may not answer all your questions. So if you want, leave it down below or hit me up on Instagram if you guys have more questions. I love the M1000. If it didn't have the issue with the motor, this would be worth every bit of $40,000. I would be super happy to pay $40,000 for this motorcycle and what it has to offer and everything that comes in it. I love it. But it has that one issue with the motor that's like, did I really just waste my money? That's a question for you guys. Leave it down below. What do you think? Would it be worth it to you? Is it worth it? You know, do you guys think it's worth it for me to keep it? Should I sell it for, you know, 15, 10, 15 thousand dollar loss and try to buy something different? Or what do you think? Build a new motor and put it in here. What do you think down below? What should we do with the M1000? Keep it, sell it, build it as a full on race bike and just send it to the freaking balls to the wall. What should we do with the M1000 guys? You leave it down below, let me know. And more amazing content to come. It is chilly out today. It's only about 53, 54 degrees out. Beautiful fall weather. Look at the beautiful trees. But until next time, guys, that M1K guy is out. Do not forget, check out Friend Tuning, Prox Performance, Shine Armor. Check out all them. Links down below. Uh, discount codes also down below. Go check all them out. But until next time, guys, that M1K guy is out.